Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is going to be your Let's Get Ready for the Week Ahead, Monday, September 10th through Friday, September the 14th. Also, the stocks on watch for Monday, September 10th will be included in this video. Uh, so, you know, uh, we had a Friday, a down day. This is the uh, first week the s p 500 has suffered its first weekly loss in almost a month on uh, pessimism about u.s trade with china and canada so that's the first thing uh so over the weekend haven't heard anything that's been a resolution to uh anything as far as the canada tariffs or uh or to the china tariffs so uh it looks like that is all still up in the air let's take a look at the spy the action um on friday so uh we had recovered on thursday uh then the spy opens up in the pre-market they push us down push us down we came down uh if you are looking at a daily chart of the spy uh we came down to test the 20 uh, sma on the spy a bull showed up and uh, pushed us back up and we were pushing right back up to about that uh, 288.60 level uh, the same highs uh, as we were at on um, Thursday then President Trump comes out and says that he's going to be increasing the tariffs uh, on China another 267 billion dollars well going into a weekend uh, that's all traders needed to hear and they sold us off uh, they pushed us right back down to that 20 SMA, sma on the daily chart bounced us back up and basically we held above that into the close on friday now with a little weakness uh in the after hours on the spy uh what was happening there was uh apple is now uh to be affected by the tariffs that are being talked about between the us and china so as you can see apple came down pretty hard and uh was selling off uh into the close on friday how do i know this why was i watching that because we were short uh apple on friday in the service and uh, we took money off uh, as an afternoon trade on friday on the uh, apple short so that's why i bring that up uh, let's get a look at some of the uh, indices uh, for the week so we had the nasdaq composite uh, you know, a lot of uh, money coming out of those stocks, uh, Amazon, uh, Netflix, Google, Facebook, uh, you know, profit taking in those. So the NASDAQ was down for the week, over 2% for the week. Uh, the rest of the indices, uh, the Dow, uh, industrials were down you know fractionally for the week uh we did have the iwc this is the uh the small cap the micro caps uh down over one percent the iwm was also down over one percent uh for the week the oih uh took a beating this week uh the oih was down uh seven percent for the week the oil services sector such names as rig halliburton Schlumberger, uh those names took a big hit uh as you can see here the Qs were down two percent point uh eight four percent so almost uh three percent on the Qs. the smh had a lousy week down almost two and a half percent for the week the s p 500 uh was down one point uh one percent uh the spy was down one percent uh tlt uh was down this week so now when you see the tlt moving down that means rates uh were moving up yields on the uh, on the bond were moving up uh turkey actually bounced four percent for the week tur the etf there oil uh uso etf uh down three percent for the week oil itself uh the xlio w uh crude oil wti down almost four percent for the week so oil let us down banks were down fractionally uh which is weird because like i said the yields were moving up on the bond so you think the banks would have been a little bit stronger maybe next week they'll do better uh for the banks uh the IYT, the transports were up fractionally for the week. So that's some of the markets uh, for the week. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the bigger names. Apple, as I have mentioned, uh, was kind of rolling over on Friday. Amazon, as you can see here, after hitting the uh, trillion dollar market cap around that uh, 2000 50 50 area, uh, it's been uh, moving down. Now testing the 20 SMA. Uh, Netflix uh was moving down this week uh still remains below the 50 sma on the daily chart facebook uh moving down as uh facebook uh went 
to uh, Congress uh, this week, middle of the week. Uh, so they sold off uh, Facebook. A lot of millennials, uh, there was articles out, millennials are deleting their accounts uh, for Facebook. Uh, Twitter didn't fare very well either. So Twitter was down uh, for the week. Uh, and uh, so that's where Twitter is. Uh, some, you know, names that uh, we had PayPal uh, moving down to the 50 SMA square. Uh, definitely relative strength this week on square holding up uh, pretty well. But we'll get more into that as we get into the best and worst stocks uh, for the week. So uh, Friday we had the jobs number come out and uh, we had 200, 201,000 uh number come out versus the 191 uh, number for August. Uh, but uh, wages were the uh, key in this last report. W wages were plus 2.9% year over year. So now there's the uh, fear of inflation and that the Fed is going to possibly uh, have to raise rates uh, in September. And I uh, just want to bring this over. Uh, we have the Fed uh, meeting scheduled for September 25th, 26th, the FOMC meeting. So uh, most are leaning towards uh, that the Fed is going to be raising rates at this meeting. So keep that in mind. Uh, some other things I wanted to show you. Uh, we have the uh, bond yield, the 10-year Treasury yield uh, perking up, coming back up to maybe getting over that at 3% on the bond yield. So that's uh, weighing on the markets right now. Uh, another Another thing weighing on the on the uh, markets is uh, we have the 30-year Treasury, uh, and that is uh, just under uh, you know that recent highs here on the daily chart. So the 30-year is uh, looking like it may want to uh, bounce here off this trend line support and maybe uh, push up and out. So uh, keep an eye on the TLT and rates. That is a going to be very important for the markets. Uh, after that news uh, this week that Goldman Sachs was not going to have a cryptocurrency Bitcoin uh, desk. Uh, Bitcoin not faring very well this week, and um, a lot of those stocks are no longer uh, a factor. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, economic information that will be coming up for the week ahead. This courtesy of the Trade Exchange. Uh, this is a nice calendar that they put together. Uh, I put it out on my Twitter feed. Uh, constantly. Uh, so if you miss it in this video, um, just go to my Twitter feed uh, at Zozo Stockwatch, uh, and that's out there on Twitter. And uh, basically for Monday, uh, not too much economic information. For the week, uh, it's pretty mellow as far as economic. We do have a couple of things that stand out. Uh, we have the PPI coming out Wednesday at uh, 8.30. That's a gauge of inflation. And then on Thursday, we have the CPI coming out at 8.30. 30 uh, on Thursday the 13th. Now also uh, this week unfortunately is the 9-11 uh, uh, so there'll be a lot of ceremonies going on in New York, a sad day uh, for, sh for many and uh, so that might affect uh, volumes on Tuesday. Uh, they do moments of silence. A lot of traders are away uh, from their desks in respect for uh, September 11th so keep that in mind for this coming Tuesday. Uh, we have some Fed speak uh, that will be uh, throughout the week. Uh, not too much. Last week, it seemed like there was more Fed speak, uh, but we're all leading up to that uh, September meeting for Fed speak. Now, once again, this is the calendar courtesy of the trade exchange. Uh, as far as uh, earnings for the week ahead, uh, we have uh, some companies that are still reporting earnings. And uh, as you can see here, uh, for the week ahead, we have Sonos, a recent IPO, S-O-N-O. -O. Uh, they'll be Monday after the bell. Uh, other than that, it's pretty, you know, no big companies, standout companies. Uh, Pivotal is a software company. PVTL, another recent uh, IPO. Uh, Kroger's KR on Thursday before the bell. Uh, Adobe after the bell on Thursday. A couple of standout names there. Other than that, you know, pretty quiet as far as the uh, earnings go uh, for the week ahead. Uh, Let's see what else do we have so uh, Tesla right I guess we have to talk about uh, Tesla uh, actually um, Tesla 
after the bell on Friday uh, did bounce a little bit off of this uh, 252 area uh, announces company reorganization uh, looks like uh, Tesla says Jerome uh, Julian has been promoted to president of automotive uh, so a few moves there uh, from Tesla in the after hours on Friday, uh, moving that stock up a little bit in the after hours. But as you can see here, uh, after that, uh, you know, videos came out of, of Elon Musk uh, smoking uh, pot on camera with Joe Rogan. Uh, that did not help the stock at all. But uh, like I said, some news did come out after hours and uh, they did pop it a little bit not all that much, but a little bit of, you know, that 252. Keep an eye on that area if you're playing Tesla to the long side uh, for Monday. Uh, let's see. Like I said, the economy added 2,001 jobs in August. Uh, uh, bonds, the bonds spiked up on the uh, Fed worry of possibly raising rates. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and get into some news uh, that came out. This once again, courtesy of the trade exchange. This is some of the news that came out on uh, Friday. Uh, so we had no NAFTA deal would be reached on Friday. Uh, Canadian officials say uh, Teva FDA approves new dosage strength of one of their products there. Uh, we also had uh, Canada's Freeland uh, reports very good progress in the U.S. Canada trade talks but I didn't hear of anything over the weekend uh, as far as an agreement uh, Apple was hitting lows in the after hours as concern over the uh, China tariffs affecting uh, Apple stock uh, AYTU files an 8 million stock warrants offering through Landenberg, so that was on AYTU. Uh, Baba was down in the after hours on Friday, and uh, news came out. Baba co-founder and executive chairman Jack Ma said to uh, plan his re to plan to retire on Monday, September 10th. Uh, he's going to remain on the board, uh, but plans to uh, focus on uh, philanthropy and teaching. Uh, but he'll still be on the board, but he is going to retire uh, from, I guess, the day-to-day -day, uh, operations for uh, BABA. Uh, some news here. Um, Apple uh, Apple prices, this is a tweet by President Trump, Apple prices may increase because of the massive tariffs we are imposing on China, but there is an easy solution where there would be a zero tariff and indeed a tax incent. Make your products in the United States instead of China. Start building new plants now. All right, so that a tweet out by President Trump. Uh, riots, uh, R-I-O-T, now is under SEC investigation. The chairman and CEO John O'Rourke has resigned following the SEC's allegation of securities fraud filed on Friday. So that uh, stock was taking a beating, beating on uh, Friday. Uh, some top insider purchases that came out Friday after the bell. Uh, SGMO director purchased uh, uh, 7,000 shares at $13 and 56 cents uh, that on SGMO that stock had been moving down and uh, some news here on uh, CBS over the weekend uh, let's see uh, global settlement to cut ties when moon uh, with CBS so um, watch a CBS stock uh, next week and on Monday uh, it's probably going to get some buying CBS Corporation reaches deal to settle litigation with uh, Shari Redstone and National Amusement over control of CBS resources. So that news coming out uh, over the weekend. So let's go ahead and do a run through of some of the best stocks uh, for the week that passed. Uh, we had AOBC, American Outdoor Brands. Now this used to be the old Smith & Wesson. Uh, they had their earnings come out. A lot of shorts were in this name. Uh, stock moved up 50% for the week. AVGO just had earnings last week. Uh, the stock moved up semi conductor name, uh, Broadcom, uh, up 7% for the week. Uh, CBS, uh, as I just spoke about, was up 6% for the week. Uh, ULTA, after their earnings and the Kardashians coming out with positive comments, uh, this stock traveled another positive 17% for the week. Uh, LB, L Brands, uh, an article came out that millennials like L Brands, uh, so the stock did pop a little bit. Uh, it's been so beaten down. Uh, the stock did 
did rise 2%. Now, usually I don't put that on a best stocks for the week, but uh, it's been so long since uh, uh, L Brands has reversed. Uh, so that stock was up 2% on that article that millennials are liking um, to shop at L Brands. Uh, CVS had a very good week. Uh, this stock was up 4% for the week. Uh, GME reported earnings last week, and the uh, earnings were not that great, but uh, they're looking for strategic alternatives, uh, trying to work a deal to sell themselves. So GME GameStop was up 19% for the week. AMD had a spectacular week, up 10%. Look at that weekly chart on AMD. Uh, stock up 10%. Cliff had a very good week up almost 10% for the week. STLD, uh, another steel name, Rolled Steel, uh, was up 2% for the week. So out of the steel sector, STLD and uh, had a very good week, uh, one of the best. DKS, uh, a retail stock, was up 5% for the week. Uh, Mankind had a licensing agreement uh, with UT. UTHR, United uh, Therapeutics, and Mankind jumped 60% for the week. Uh, REPH uh, also was up for the week 28%. Uh, they resubmitted uh, to the FDA for a new drug application on REPH, and uh, that stock traveled 28% uh, for the week. PRQR, uh, positive phase 1-2 on PRQR, and this stock was up 112% for the week. ARWR, positive phase one update. Uh, this stock moved up 37% for the week. TLRY was up 32% for the week. TLRY, this is a pot stock. Uh, that stock moved up uh, very nicely this week. Some of the other pot stocks, CRON was up 31% uh, for the week. And CGC also climbing 16% uh, uh, for the week that passed. ABUS uh, was also moving up 20% uh, for the week. ABUS, nice uh, weekly chart shaping up here on ABUS. Might want to keep that one on watch for the week ahead. FNKO, very stretched, but uh, moved up another 19% uh, for the week on FNKO, N-I-T-E. Uh, this stock moved up 19% uh, for the week. AVAV had earnings, defense name up 17% for the week. Okta. Uh, had their earnings come out, stock moved up 17% for the week. L-O-C-O, Loco, uh, Pollo Loco, a chicken uh, restaurant, up 18% for the week. Big move there. Uh, coming up to the 200 uh, SMA here, the green line you see developing here. Uh, recent, you know, IPO back in, I guess, well, 2014, so not too recent. But uh, now currently coming up to the 200 SMA on the weekly chart on Loco, but up 18% uh, for the week there. Uh, VRA, Vera Bradley had earnings the week that passed. Stock moved up 18% uh, for the week. Looks like it may be trying to break out here. Uh, good volume for the week on Vera Bradley. MESA, a recent IPO. Uh, this stock was up 16% for the week. RNET, uh, Rignet, uh, this stock moved up 31% for the week on uh, RNET. And then lastly, TOCA, TACA, uh, got some uh, price increases and upgrades uh, this week. A biotech name up 19% for the week. So that's some of your best stocks for the week. Some of your worst stocks for the week. First one up is Tesla with all that controversy with Elon Musk. Uh, so this week, Tesla was down 13%. Uh, I spoke about it in the beginning of the video, so I won't stay on it uh, too long. Uh, so Tesla was down 13%. We had Twitter uh, after the DOJ investigation in social media companies. Uh, you know, what they're worried about there is, are they stopping the free exchange of views? Um, and so Dorsey and Sandberg, they went to Congress. Uh, so neither one fared that well uh, after that. Twitter was down 14% for the week. Uh, Facebook was down 8% for the week. Clack uh, in the semiconductor space took an 11% hit this week. MU uh, in the semiconductor space uh, down 15% for the week. 
AMAT also down 8% for the week. MRVL, even though they had earnings come out this week, uh, they tried to pop the stock up, but uh, just couldn't get going. Stock also dropped uh, 7% for the week. Uh, Netflix makes our list today down 6%. Uh, Google uh, also uh, in trouble with Congress. They actually didn't show up to the congressional hearings. Uh, so Google dropped 6% for the week. Spotify uh, moving down this week, down 6% for the week. Uh, Baba, BABA, uh, B-A-B-A, down 7% for the week. We'll see how that's going to open up on Monday with uh, Jack Moore uh, retiring. Uh, still going to be on the board, though. But anyway, Baba for the week was down 7%. JD, their CEO, is in trouble. Um, um, sexual uh, misconduct charges, perhaps. Uh, this stock was down 13%. Uh, on JD. Other China stocks that were down, IQ was down 8% for the week, and uh, Baidu was also down 4% for the week. Uh, like I said on the OIH uh, earlier in the video, this was down 7% for the week. Uh, Schlumberger took a hit of 7%. Halliburton took a hit this week, down uh, 9%. Rig uh, was dropping this week down 11% on rig transocean uh, BHGE another one in the service sector uh, this one was down 8% for the week DO uh, was also down uh, 7% so you had the uh, services sector taking a hit you had oil taking a hit um, this week so um, not much to rest your hat there on the oil uh, sector. EYEG, uh, they came out with uh, disappointing data. Stock dropped 30% for the week. Uh, disappointing data in their phase three. NVUS, uh, they did a uh, stock offering. The stock dropped uh, 10% uh, for the week. Uh, but now, uh, supposedly, they're uh, postponing uh, that offering on NVUS. So we'll see how that one is uh, next week. Uh, SGMO had uh, negative uh, phase one, two data on SGMO. Stock was down 24% for the week. HSGX uh, phase three did not meet primary endpoints on this stock. The stock dropped 72% for the week. Got to be careful of those biotech names if you're holding them. ADXS. Uh, this stock uh, doing a public offering down 28%. IOVA negative phase two. Uh, IOVA dropped 28% for the week. OPK uh, charges from the SEC. I believe the stock is still halted. We'll see if they're going to open it on Monday. Charges from the SEC uh, for um, fraudulent schemes. All right. For OPK, uh, the stock for the week was down uh, 22%. Most of that coming on uh, Friday. Uh, so uh, I think uh, that stock, uh, we'll see how it's going to trade next week. But this OPK was down 22%. Uh, and like I said, another stock that's being investigated, uh, the CEO just resigned. Uh, stock down Riot, down 30% uh, for the week on Riot. And that's it. That's your worst stocks for the week. Some stocks I'll be watching Monday and for uh, the next couple of days uh, is going to be BLPH. You see it had this big gap down. Um, Friday, it got some big volume coming into the name. They're popping it back over a dollar, 4.3 million shares on that name. Uh, I'll be watching uh, CBS if there's any type of intraday trades on uh, CBS. Another name that you might want to keep an eye on for a possible swing trade here is BMY. Uh, needs to get up over that 6150 area on BMY. Uh, Bristol Myers, keep an eye on that one for possible swing trade. Uh, Cliffs, uh, as we spoke, one of our best stocks for the week. I'll be keeping an eye on this one for maybe an intraday trade that could possibly lead to a swing trade on Cliff. Uh, the high on Friday was uh, 1084. Decent volume in this name. Uh, definitely a leader in that sector. So I'll be watching that. Uh, pot stocks will be on watch. Sorry for all the lines. Uh, but pot stocks, Crone will remain on watch. A CGC will remain on watch uh, for next week. 
on uh yeah cgc will remain on watch now definitely extended all right the stock is definitely extended uh maybe some type of a red to green or would love a pullback in this name uh for an entry so i'll have that on watch a csiq uh had uh, some buying uh, uh, after the bell on uh, Friday. So I'll be watching CSIQ, see if something's going on there. Uh, CVM had a very strong close on Friday. Uh, you see it's gotten all the way up to 450. So CVM will be on watch. Galt, uh, after this three-stick pullback, trying to push it back up off of the 50 SMA here. Galt has that $6 number up ahead. Got as high as $6.10 on GALT. Uh, GE MP uh, trying to make a turnaround move here. Bottom bouncer, maybe. I'll keep an eye on that one. Not in love with it. Uh, Jivo got a uh, price target increase and an upgrade. I believe it was by HC Wainwright. Uh, so volume 2.8 million shares. This one will be on watch. Uh, GNRC. Keep an eye on this one if you can get up over this 56 area on GNRC uh, as we're starting. To, we're in hurricane season. Uh, and uh, so GNRC, Genrac. Uh, might move up because uh, uh, they do generators and whatnot. So keep an eye on that one over that uh, 56 area, possible swing trade in that name. Uh, H-E-A-R. Now, this one's been traveling down. Uh, if you can get back over this 25 number on H-E-A-R, they make the uh, headsets for the Fortnite gaming. Uh, keep an eye on that one. Uh, I-N-S-1. Why uh, this one had a nice pop up over eleven dollars. Now we have a four stick pullback. Uh, it's pulled back to about that eight dollar area. We'll see if this one wants to maybe reverse back up. By the way, this one is in the uh, ETF of the MJ. This is the pot ETF MJ. So INSY is one of the components uh, in that um, uh, pot stock ETF. All right. So keep an eye on INSY. IPCI had a nice move up 1 million shares. It's an under 50 cent name. Uh, so if you like these names, it is trying to come up off the bottom here. Watch it up over that 50 cents. If you like those uh, uh, under 50 cent names, Mankind, uh, we had this move up to $3. Now we've pulled back to about the five uh, EMA was definitely extended here. But now we've gotten a nice pullback. If it can get back over this $2 area move this down a little bit if we can get back over this two dollar area on mankind could be get get interesting again uh merc for swing traders you might want to keep an eye on this one for a possible swing trade also uh uh, Pfizer was looking very good uh, on the uh, daily chart here. Pfizer for a possible swing trade. Uh, we had a high on Friday of uh, 42.35, so keep an eye on Pfizer. Now, granted, it's come from 36 up to about $42, but we have been consolidating here, getting back over the 10 SMA, so Pfizer for a possible swing trade. Uh, Okta will be on my watch uh, for Monday and next week uh, after their earnings. Uh, they gapped it up. It's in the software sector. Software sector has been very strong. We have this $75 area up ahead. Uh, so I'll be keeping an eye on that one. Uh, Roku has been very strong. Uh, quietly moving up here, up over that uh, 65 area now. The high on Friday on, uh, on our, uh, Roku. Roku, sorry, uh, was uh, 65.99. So uh, keep your eye on this uh, Roku. Uh, looks like it wants to make a further move. RVLT for the smaller names has that uh, 325 area up ahead on that one. Uh, SES. SENS uh, has that 450 area, 3.1 million shares came in on this one uh, on Friday. So keep an eye on this uh, SENS. Uh, Square has been very strong. Uh, SSKN, another one, a small name we should watch. Uh, the high on Friday on SSKN. Uh, was around that 288 level for that name, uh, expanding volume here. SSKN will be on watch. And then uh, Zscaler will also be on watch. A nice recovery. After their earnings, they gapped it down to about the 50 SMA. Uh, now they've popped it back up. We'll see how this one, uh, if that wants to set up. Uh, YEXT also, same thing, held the 20 SMA. Buyers are coming in now. We have that $27 area on Yext, software infrastructure, one. 
1.4 million shares came in on that on Friday. Uh, Zen, another software name, uh, basing under this $70 area on ZEN. All right, so Zendesk, uh, now granted, this thing has been trending up and very strong, uh, but if it can break out over this $70 area, uh, could make a nice move for you there on Zen. Uh, MTCH, Match, uh, also uh, holding up very well. A lot of shorts in this name. Has that 5275 area up ahead, so keep an eye on that. MTCH, possible swing trade uh, in that name. All right, so that's some of the names that I'll have on watch uh, for Monday and uh, perhaps the rest of the week. Each night I do a video, um, so there'll be another video coming out Monday for Tuesday, a Stocks to Watch video, and I hope you're more ready for the week ahead than you were before. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Thanks for listening. Thank you for the support of the channel. Uh, I tried to give you uh, as much information as I can on, on uh, Sunday night, so I hope you're more ready for the week ahead than you were before. Have a great day trading tomorrow, and we'll see you back at it with another video. Thanks very much.